Okay, this is the start of our crossbred uh, male offering here. Uh, this would be the, the pair of 93 litters. Uh, they would be sired by Absolute back on a Kingpin Visionary. Uh, this is actually a purchase uh, we made uh, from the uh, uh, the the sale, uh, the Heimer Bread Gilt sale there. Uh, this was the Calico female that we bought out of that sale. Um, and uh, she, uh, uh, she, she did a good job in terms of... Uh, uh, making some uh, uh, feedable looking pigs, but uh, she's done a good job for Jesse. She's actually a bred sow, not a bred gilt, but uh, uh, she's done a good job for them and, and a proven sow that we bought there that had a little age on her. Um, but it uh, looks like the absolute deal is going to work in certain areas. And uh, I think uh, this is probably the type and kind that uh, uh, we think is going to work pretty good. And, and Ben's seen quite a bit of them and, and is in agreement on the absolute thing, uh, working in, in this kind of areas and looking like this. So uh, we're going to get into 93-2, uh, the Calico male pig here. And he's been one that's always kind of stood out. And uh, I think stood out in a good way, not only from a color pattern standpoint. Uh, this hog skeleton is tremendously good. I think that... Uh, uh, he's one that's loose and level and flexible off both ends. He's got great set and angulation up front. He's got a very, very useful kind of a hind leg. And still with that said, he's very good looking in his head um, and levels out and so correct, but he's still stout enough about his head. So I think it's a great combination, um, a hog that reads with center body and dimension, and I think just everything matches in this pig. And if he feeds and looks like this at 280, 290 pounds, I think we're going to have one that's going to be a player because uh, uh, he does everything right in a real sound footed package with some of the extras you like to see um, color alike I like the color I think it'll look good um, and I think that pig's going to be awful awfully good uh, his whole life if he looks like that going up uh, there's not much guesswork in that particular bear 93-4 is the uh, uh, the belted uh, bear here that uh, uh, you get you got to like in terms of his uh, his stoutness to head his stoutness to forearm he's got a big hind leg working in him another one that uh, that offers some stretch but still uh, uh, useful in his hind leg the way he plants and drives and uh, a, a hog that uh, still offers center body he's a little bear right there behind his shoulder but I think that'll all come in together there um, but uh, another one I think you push on him you feed him I think he fits that uh, um, you know that June July setting you know I don't know if he gets to August maybe just depending on on his uh, uh, on the way you want to feed him but uh, I think a hog you can push on because his skeleton is big enough and his type and kind I think it could be a monster come July uh, on down the way but I think a really good pair of bears there the Heimer bread gilt uh, 93 litters a uh, lot 34 and 35.